put the hype aside and find out who's the better team. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Oh, and it skates out as he gets a piece of it with the club. Montreal's going to play the puck from behind the cage. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Poked away at center by Samar. Dished on over to Marner. Takes that pass back at the point. Quick pass to Marner. Matheson's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. Montreal's looking to break out. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Pass in front! They score! Goals in the playoff series are so difficult to come by, James, as the ice closes up and everyone's playing urgent and physical. They got the first one here. That's a good way to start. The Leafs get one quickly here, and they're up early in the first. That's so important when you're the away team that you don't come out flat. You get your lines into it right away, and they're rewarded with a goal in that first quarter of the period. Puck grab by McCabe. Moves it quickly over to Bertuzzi. Denies him on the one-timer! Doc's body language says it all. He is frustrated. And anytime you're on a team, you want to contribute, especially when you know what you can do. You're a confident player, but all of a sudden, the stick gets a little bit tighter. Habits are a great thing. Numbers are another. Here's a short pass to Anderson. Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. And that's deflected off someone in front. Takes the feed. Tough save by the goalie. Samsonov's got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head and focus in the game. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the pass. Picked up along the boards by Bertuzzi. Oh, what a stop by Allen. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. Grabbed along the boards by Anderson. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Toronto's ahead, 1-0. Yarncrocks won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Here's a shot denied by the puck stopper. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Toronto's capitalizing their offensive abilities here in this first period. The Leafs win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Too many bodies in the way. Scooped up along the wall by Pearson. The Canadians played along the boards. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. The Canadians win it. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Takes a shot. And he turns that one aside. Scrum along the boards. They battle for the puck. Back to the blue line. And he 
takes the feed. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Toronto's got to hold of it against the wall. The home team is really under siege here in their own end. And the base got it in their own end. Oh, wow. Hit on the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle. Shoulder to shoulder and just laid it on thick. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Lilligren's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off his stick and he lost possession. And he takes the dish. Receives the pass. Tries to get the puck to Suzuki. Slides it on over to Nylander. And now it's grabbed by Monaghan. Love saved made by Samsonov. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Evans is all around the puck, or the puck is all around him. Look at it whichever way you want, but when you have a point streak going, it tends to follow you around. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's off target as it hits a body. Moves it to Klingberg. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. The Leafs have it from the corner. He scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. He does a great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one-timer that he's able to get off beats the goaltender clean. The Leafs are up by one here in the back half of this opening frame. Yeah, and they deserve the lead there. There's no question about it, James. I mean, they've been the better team. They've been first to the puck, and they've owned the majority of shots to net. Not afraid to put it there. Now they got to continue this pace and see if they can get ahead by more than one. Quick feed to Doc. Sends a pass over. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? I really like the save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Quick pass to Tavares. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Toronto's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first and they lead as a result. Tavares won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Here's a shot, and he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. And that's blocked away. Feeds it over to McCabe. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Through center. Grabs it in his own end. Moves it quickly over to Dolby. <laughs> Toronto's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net, and they lead here late in the first. The Canadians come up with the defensive zone draw. Whiteman's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes it into the slot. Oh, a clutch save! Samsonov's been outstanding, tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. Into the offensive end now. Centering pass, and that's intercepted. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Throws it in. Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. Puck moved over to Slavkovsky. Solid check to slow him down. Taken by Brody. Oh, and he lays a thunderous hit there. Shot! Shuts him down. Here in the late going of the frame, 
It's a 2-1 game. Suzuki's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Montreal's got the puck. Here they come. Fires it on net. Here's a shot. What a save. Officials have got both teams ready. And it looks like play is set to resume here. Toronto's won the defensive zone draw. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Dumps it in. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. Teams back on the ice are lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Allen's the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Toronto's been firing on all cylinders here early in this second period, and they continue to lead this one. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Monaghan's got it along the wing. Here's a short pass to Logren. Toronto's crossed the line and on the attack. Fires it! Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there. Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he got nailed. Gets in the lane with the body. Moves it to Caulfield. Change up, change up. Puck picked up by Lilgren. Toronto's got it across the line. Shot, and he makes the save. He scores! Well, hands, hands, and four minutes on that play. Magic mitts, James, and you know, it is so difficult to bend when you pull the puck in tight to your feet, and man, this was a clinic. But after the deke, the ability to finish two, all the way around, textbook. When they say practice makes perfect, James, and he's executing in the game because of it. I mean, look at the way he can move in tight spaces. He's got hands that can just dangle, and when he finds the back of the net, his opponent's just kind of looking at him. There it goes again. Montreal's won it. Quick feed to Cooley. Takes the feed at center for the right wing. Slides the puck over. Takes the shot. Great save by Allen. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Toronto's got the puck. And he takes the pass. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Bertuzzi. Made the stop on that play. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. The Leafs take possession here in the open ice. Weidman's got the puck now in his own end. Passes it to Gallagher. Montreal's got it against the boards. Centering feed, and that's blocked in front. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Here's the shot, and he stakes that one with the club. More than half the period left to play. Toronto's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. The Leafs will play it from the defensive zone. Quick pass to Lilgren. Handles the puck. Here's a chance. Drives it to the crease. Tough save and an easy one at that.
The Leafs continue to lead it here in the second period. They have been very active in the offensive zone tonight. And they win the draw here in their own end. Gains the zone through the middle. The Canadians have it from their own end. Trying to get back on the attack now. Passes on over to Pearson. Here's a short pass to Matheson. Puck scooped up by Reeves. Great reach with the stick by Pearson. Lilgren's picking up momentum through center. Feed to the middle. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Oh, wow. Devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I thought that one in the broadcast booth. The Leafs have it now. Reeves plays it against the boards. From behind the net now, he scoops up the puck. Slavkovsky's got it through the neutral zone. The Leafs have it against the wall. Montreal's got it now. Big time stop. Samsonov's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to. And you're dominated, playing really confident all night long. You don't have elite hands like this if you don't work on him, James, and you know he's put in the work because when he gets into these spots, he's got poison patience with the buck. He can dangle with the best of them, and it's shown right there on that goal. The Canadians win possession here in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Giordano. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Matthews. Denies him! He takes a shot! He scores! Austin Matthews clutch! Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Toronto's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. I mean, they've just moved the puck around so effectively. Yeah, they've gotten in the offensive zone because of their speed through the neutral zone. They've gotten good entries, and then their puck possession in the offensive zone. I mean, it's been so difficult to take it away. It's been a string on their stick. They've been evasive, they've been elusive, and they've driven the net when they should have. And we're still only in period number two. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goal. 
goaltender and take away their eyes. It's the goaltender's job to find the puck. She finds it and makes the save. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. Grabs it in the corner. Takes a shot. Misses. And they come away with possession here on their own end. The Canadians gain control of the puck. All alone. He scores! Oh, wow, what a play! Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. Looks over his shoulder and the presence of mind to know where everyone is and keeps moving forward. And what a finish that is on net. Montreal's goal has suddenly put them right within two. It's really difficult to play a full 60, but when you can finish off the end of periods really strong and get yourself back in it, it bodes well for the beginning of the third. That's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Sends it into the offensive zone. Two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Well, here we go, period number three is underway. We'll see if Pat the Stats Night continues. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Leafs are in the lead in the third period. It's been an entertaining game of hockey, but it's all about the offense and how much you can generate sky-high numbers off the charts, but zero defensive metrics on display. And there's a shot! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Canadians are trying to get back into this one as they still trail by two goals. And now it's grabbed by Savard. Riley's lugging the puck. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Leafs have the puck now. Slides it over with pace to Nylander. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Puck dumped in. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Good stop by Sam Sodoff. Slick feed. Quick feed to Anderson. Denies him. He got all of it. Sam Sodoff's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. The Leafs win the draw here in their own end. Quick pass to Bertuzzi. Puts it in deep. The Canadians gain possession. Oh, he got hit by a freight train there. What a collision. Here's a short pass to Weidman. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Up along the wing. Make a change, make a change. Sends the feet in front. Picked off in front. The Leafs gain possession in their own end. Handles the pass. Blazing in on the breakaway. Absolutely crunch at the stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game. And this is a one-on-one -on -one battle in this goaltender. He knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. He got all of that hit on the play. Shot from the wall. Stops it cold. Moves it quickly over to Yarncro. Club save. What a save from point-blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. The Leafs have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Evans wins possession off the draw. And here's a pass to Pearson. The Canadians move the puck in the defensive zone. A little rock'em, sock'em on the play. Oh, John Eisen with the power save. Oh, they do it again. What an incredible save in the high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in the perfect position to make that club save. Plenty of playing 
time left in this frame. The Leafs lead by a pair, it's 5-3. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. And thump, it's denied! I don't think anybody was hanging out of the puck after that hit. How did he stop that one? As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there, and just takes away the net. Played big in the moment there. Takes the feed. The Canadians look to start the transition game. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a shot. Oh, and another beauty stop right there. Giordano's got it in the defensive end. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. And now he moves it quickly to Pesetta. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Giordano. Can't maintain possession. Dvorak's got it in the offensive zone. Taken by Giordano. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we? And just go with the goal call. And they keep the pressure on. Takes it and looks ahead. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Riley. Moves it to the middle, and that goes off a stick. Monahan swooping in on the attack. Moves it to Caulfield. There's a great glove save by Samsonov. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area, and he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Past the halfway mark of this period, Toronto's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, Bell, and he's down for the count. Uses the force on that hit. The Leafs grab possession to the puck. For point to end, he scores! Aye, aye, captain! I love this snapshot from in tight, James. That beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Toronto's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Across the line from center. And that's poked away by Cooley. And that carries off a body in traffic. Made the save on the play. The Canadians looking against the half wall. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The Leafs are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Change it up! Shot! Scores! And look at this! Suddenly they're right back into it! I really like their response here, James. They're able to capitalize on the opportunity and it gets them within two. And this two goal deficit, it almost feels like there's a little hope now in the game. And if they can get one more, you'll recognize that the momentum will completely shift. Montreal's got one back, but Cheryl, they need more. They need more, and they're gonna have to pay the price to get to the paint, the most popular spot on the ice, fight through traffic, and find a way to get the puck to the net. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Feeds it down low. Oh, absolutely rocked him in the corner. Wyman's got it in the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. And he slides it quickly to Gregor. Leading in the, late in the game, you know that the coach is going to choose players who are dependable and know exactly what to do at the right time. Putting that puck in deep is the right thing. 
Caulfield stick handling in his own zone. Passes ahead from the right side. Turned aside with the glove by Sam Soto. Protect the lead here late in this third period as they have been the dominant offensive club. The Canadians will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Makes it look easy with the stop. I thought he had him out there. They're saying it's a goal now. That's in the net. Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He tracked it perfectly and got himself set to position, James. I thought he had chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. Montreal's got to be feeling confident now getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming and they got to win this face-off and dictate the pace. What a hit and that'll wear down the opposition. as the goalie hangs on. That is a lonely cage at the other end of the ice here, Cheryl. Well, it certainly is, and an extra attacker on the ice. Possession is critical. Got to win this face off. Montreal's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Oh, what a save in front. This shot's come to the middle of the ice, and he hit has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Tries to get it out of harm's way. Scan possession along the wall. Shoot it. Cut the point. Big save just as time runs out. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. Look, a series is not won or lost with the opening game, but Cheryl, I'd much rather have that win. Yeah, everyone would, wouldn't they? I mean, it's such a long season. You play it, but then when you get to the playoffs, you know, there's a different set of nerves. There's energy. You know, you're in a series that's do or die, and you got to figure out a way to get on top. To get that first game under your belt just settles everyone in, and you've got the leg up now on your opponent. Real nice start. Well, that'll do it for tonight's postseason action, but the playoffs roll on, and we will see you at the next game. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebalski. Good night.